Hi everybody, welcome to Scarlet's Micro Adventures. Now I've done a really poor job of editing this video, <laughs> so uh, so please forgive me. The fridge has arrived. It's uh, it's undergoing testing, and uh, the video will explain everything. But good afternoon and welcome to a bit of a different episode today of Scarlet's Micro Adventures. Um, what it is, I've bought this this fridge here. This uh, an eager fridge, and um, I'm going to do a test of it with my Power Oak 500 watt power brick running off 12 volts. I've charged this up fully. This has only just arrived. I've not used it yet. Opening the lid, you can see it's got a, a metal chain. It's that's pretty cool. It's also in the bottom got uh, it's got a like a, uh, a plug in the bottom. I've just been to the shop and bought uh, 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 some cans of Stella because I wanted to know how many cans I could get in it. Um, so I bought a fridge pack because it looks like on the photos of it you can get loads and loads of cans in it. And I'm not really convinced that you can. Um, so I've got 10 440ml cans here. These are your standard size cans in the UK. And what I'm going to do is see how many of these I can fit in it. Realistically, looking at it now, I've got five across the back. So I would say five, ten. It's going to fit 15, possibly 20 cans. I reckon. No, I've not got 20 cans, I've only got 10. So, so. I can only test it with what I've got. But I would say it would fit 15 or 20 cans. Easy, 15, 15 cans, no problem at all. So I'll put my 10 cans in now. And as I said, I've not even switched it on yet. So we're gonna have a look, see what it does. And then we're gonna just put it under a test condition where we're gonna leave it running as long as we can on this power bank, 500 watt from full until it runs out. So that's what we're going to do. It's got a freezer compartment, but the freezer compartment's tiny. It really is small. Looking at the freezer compartment now, you, you, you're not going to get much in that. You're not going to get much in that at all. Which is a bit disappointing, because the actual, um, the actual fridge compartment itself is pretty good. It's pretty big. So I'm just plugging it in. It plugs in on the side. And I'm plugging it into my 12 volt here. Let's just stick that in there. Happy days. Switching the power on. We're on DC. DC here. Most importantly, let me get my timer so you know what time it is when we're starting. So, currently, it's 111 on uh, March the 21st now. I'm switching on over here, I imagine. Touch control. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Let's, uh, oh, we don't want it at minus 20. No, we want it at minus 5. We want it at 5 degrees, that's what we want it at. One, two, three, four, five. So that's 5 degrees I'm leaving it at which is about where I have my fridge. It's currently at 17 degrees, which is the room temperature, and it's gonna to drop to five degrees. It's at 16 now, so it drops about a degree a minute, I believe. It'll get to five degrees, and then it should stay at five degrees. Now, it's not making a sound. It is completely silent. I can't even hear it, which is brilliant, because I'm gonna be sleeping next to it in the van once it's done. So, yeah, as you can see, it's 112. We're going to run it now until this goes flat to see if it lasts a full weekend. Everybody talks about power. What's it drawing? It's drawing, it says here, it's drawing 26 watts. It's advertised as 60 watt power. It's drawing 26. Everybody talks about power, loads of people on the forums are talking about power and they're like, oh how much power do I need for a weekend and how much power do I need for this, that, the other and like, 
Who knows how much power you need. My plan is to run this, run my Max Air fan, which is very low on the wattage, and uh, maybe run a couple of lights, but I just want to see how long this will last on its own, plugged in here. So, if I can get a full weekend out of it, you know you can. I've bought both of these products. As you know, the site isn't sponsored. Um, these are for my own use. I've bought them for my own use, and the review will be completely honest and completely open. It's either going to work or it's not. So what we'll do is we'll check back in in a couple of days and see how things are going. Super. So I'm just going to leave it running now and forget about it for a few days. Just a quick update. We've dropped to 12 degrees now. It's got the slightest whir to it. It sounds like any other fridge really. But it's not very loud. That's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. It's now 123. What, would, what power are we drawing? Let's have a look. So yeah, so we've gone up to 44 watts now. So now it's taking a, a little bit of power, which is good. That's what we want. Whether it'll hit the 60 or not, I don't know. But the, the temperature is definitely going down. So I just wanted to do a quick update video. It's, uh, it's Tuesday now. It's the 22nd of March. Um, similar time, it's been about 24 hours since um, since I plugged the fridge in and as you can see we're, we're running at about 60% um, just coming over to the fridge just here Ooh. so it's currently at 6 degrees and if you remember yesterday I set it to 5 when it gets to 7 that's when it kind of kicks in and cools it back down and it cools it to 4 and it just kind of fluctuates between 4 and 7 but uh, yeah, yeah, very impressed so far. Right, so it's now 12.49 on Wednesday. Remember, I plugged these in at uh, 1.11 on Monday. So we're just, just shy of 48 hours and we've run out of power. So that's the first test out of the way. So um, my overall thoughts as, as a review is that it works amazingly well. I can go away now on a Friday Friday afternoon, Friday evening and know that I've got power to this fridge all weekend until Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening when I go home. And that's without even putting any charge into this power brick. So yeah, what a great combination. Uh, the fact that you can get 48 hours worth of power at 5 degrees out of the Power Oak 500 watt hour power station and the Bodega 18 litre 12 volt fridge. Absolutely fantastic. So that brings us to the end of the review. I hope that you've found some use in it. Uh, I certainly have. It's been a great test. Uh, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, pop us a like, pop us a subscription. Would really appreciate it. I'm going to test it next on the low voltage mode just to see if it lasts any longer. Uh, but I just wanted to get this, this video out real quick because I know on some of the forums, some people were asking about uh, this particular fridge.